it was her movies, her politics, her great sense of style, Katherine Hepburn is known for being a woman who was bold, brash, and beautiful. Yeah, and in her new book, Remembering Katherine Hepburn, Ann Nyberg takes us on an extraordinary journey through the life of America's leading lady. And Ann is also the founding member of the Katherine Hepburn Center for the Arts in Old Saybrook. Welcome to CT Style, Thanks. Ann. This is I exciting. Got up, I got up early today. You did. We're so lucky You're to have good. you here, though. <laughs> it's okay. I clean up all right. <laughs> So thanks so much. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, but nutcase, two books in two years. And this was a thrill to have my name next to Katherine Hepburn. Um, Globe Pequot and Guilford said, hey, we want you to write a book on Katherine Hepburn. And I said, what can I add to all the books that have been written about the most iconic actors in the 20th century? Mm -hmm. But because I'm a founder of her theater, I know a lot of folks in Fenwick, where her home was, and in mm -hmm. Old Saybrook. And I started putting together these little stories that people would tell me. So it's about the townsfolk. It's about all kinds of stuff. I, I got to tour home and you know stand in her bedroom, and wow. it was it was just awesome. Yeah, that's the first book that that Slices got me started. Your life, life. Yeah. which which we chit chatted with you about. Now now, what sort of uh, grabbed you um, about her? What what got you so enamored with Katherine Hepburn? She's known as a fashion icon because she wore pants in a time when you you know didn't wear pants in mm -hmm. old Hollywood. But I was struck by her kindness. She didn't have children. She was married once for a cup of coffee and a Danish, you know, mm. that I like to say, um, and then had a long standing relationship with Spencer Tracy. But she was very kind to people that she loved. And I was shocked by that because we, we know her as tough. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but some of the stories, and I also got to talk to Dick Cavett. We have a picture yeah. of him um, who was the first TV interview with her in 1973. And that was a thrill how he talked about her. Yeah, and I mean, you've, you've talked to him quite a bit yeah. uh, over the past year. Great and, guy. Yeah. For those who remember Dick Cavett, he's 79 and lives on Montauk. Wow. There yeah. you go. Good for him. Did you ever have the opportunity to meet Katherine Hepburn? This is, this is in the book. No, but when I started working here many moons ago, uh, I knew her brother. Her brother gave me a phone number, and I called her when she lived in Turtle Bay, New York City. She answers the phone. Wow. So now I'm I'm this reporter. You're channel starstruck. Like, yeah, really. Catherine wow. Hepburn's oh on the other on the yeah. other line. I'm like, oh my gosh, and she she basically said, no, 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 I won't do an interview with you. You would not like me like Barbara Walters. Oh, oh. wow. Um, oh, but geez. All right. <laughs> so oh, I was oh. dissed by the best, right? Jeez. And, and, I, and now you wrote a book about it. And her now I wrote a book that. about it. Yeah, so I'm forever connected. Who would have thought? Do you think no. she'd be proud? I mean, was she a private woman? Would she very, mind you kind of digging into her life? Um, very private. I think she would like what I wrote because it was stories about people who knew her. Mm -hmm. um, I talked to her great niece, Skylar Grant, who is a riot. And um, she told me so many stories about just being with her aunt and learning how to act and the squirmishes they got into. Yeah. It was really now, fun. Now how about the red jacket or cloak that she had? That right, so I own one of her coats. And it's a red swing coat from the 1940s that um, I got from Katherine Houghton. There it is. And there wow. it is. That's and wild. I wear it. And it's this heavy. Why outfit. wouldn't you? Yeah. It's fantastic. And, and I, I think, so oh, cool. I'm channeling Katherine Hepburn today. <laughs> yeah. It's very fun. And um, it has a label in it that says Valentina, not Valentino. Valentina was a Russian designer that did a lot of um, wardrobing for women in, in Hollywood. So wow. it's really fun and it's so warm. Yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll need it coming up here in Connecticut in the yeah, winter time. Yeah, th there's that winter thing. Yeah. Oh, so the book's been out for a couple weeks? Couple weeks, yeah. And so I'm touring it at libraries and independent bookstores and um, boutiques and all kinds of things. And I'm having a ball with it. And Excellent. I want to thank Globe Pequot for coming to me and say, hey, we want you to write a book on Katherine Hepburn. So I, I is, did. Is there a third in the works, Anne? <laughs> you know, I, as I'm driving, I think of all these titles. I don't know, maybe. All right, we'll have to wait and see. Stay tuned for that. That was a good tease. <laughs> there there it is. You never know. Make sure you guys grab the book. All right, coming up from pie dishes to oven roasters, Cook Shop Plus has all your Thanksgiving essentials for entertaining. 